So Erin, you had a 27 run win over England today in the first ODR. You must be pretty happy with the result. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, batting first, I thought you know, we were probably 20, 30 runs short of where we'd like to have been. But um, we went out there and stuck to our plans. And I thought Sarah Coit was really um, fantastic for us. You know, she had a lot of uh, maidens in there and bowled really tight lines. So, um, yeah, credit to her. And in the scheme of things, obviously, there's only Australia been the drawn test till now. So this was the first chance for either team to get a win on the board. How important is that for you to have that edge over England going into the rest of the series? Um, yeah, I thought it was really important to get that momentum into the next game. Obviously it was disappointing having the draw at Wormsley, um, but today you know, it highlighted how close the two teams are, so we really do have to kick on from here and go back and do our homework and, and prepare for the next match. And the batting total of 203, was that a little short of what you had planned um, for the batting innings? Yeah, I think so. I, I still think we were 20, 30 runs short. Um, I th thought we lost our way a little bit in the middle there. We, we need to find ways to um, get off strike a little bit better, especially early on in, in our innings. Um, but look, that's something small we can fix quite quickly. And um, yeah, just looking forward to the next game. Seemed to be a bit of a spinner's paradise out there. You and Jess Jonathan both took bags of wickets. Did the conditions that's really suit you too, as opposed to the uh, pace the bowlers? Yeah, um, you know, after our batting innings, we saw that the pitch was quite slow, so, and difficult to score off when you were bowling in good areas um, and taking the pace off the ball. So yeah, we, we had discussions about bowling quite slow um, and trying to get a little bit more turn out of it. And you mentioned Sarah Coit a little earlier. She was very economical in her bowling today. How important was she in this win? Yeah, she was crucial for us. Um, I thought she really squeezed England quite well when, when it needed to be done, when so no other bowlers for us were doing that. So Sarah she was Coit. crucial. I thought she you know, set up the wickets for the other bowlers. Um, but yeah, she did a fantastic job in, in bowling little off cutters. And it wasn't until the 20th over that you got the first wicket, the team got the first wicket. What was the pressure and frustration out like, like there out on the field until you got that first wicket? Yeah, you know, I thought Aaron Brindle and Charlotte Edwards batted really well and got off to a great start for them. Um, it was frustrating and it got a little bit nervy there. You sort of kept looking up at the scoreboard, trying to track the run rate and what they needed. Um, but at the end of the day, we stuck to our plans and, and it, you know, it ended up well for us. And last time you played at Lords, you went and saw a show the night before with Sarah Coit and came out and smashed England the next day. And this time you went and saw a show when you got to London as well, Dirty Dancing. Is that going to be a bit of a pre-game ritual every time you play at Lords from now on? Yeah, I think so. You know, it works well. I'm um, probably going to have to take the whole team next time. Um, you know, I took half of them, so it works well. Go see a show, run halfway through, get ice cream, come back and then the next day play at Lords. Um, two brilliant days.